Cockadoodle Who by Melody Joyce. It was early morning on the farm. Nothing moved at all. Then suddenly a rooster hopped onto the wall. He cocked his head and listened, but heard no bark, no grunt or moo. So the rooster puffed his chest out and went cock-a-doodle-doo. Wake up, wake up, that rooster said. There's lots to do, get out of bed. The pig gave a grunt, the cow gave a moo, the nervous sheep said bah. I smell trouble, said the horse, and it's here in our farmyard. The rooster bossed the hens around. He thought he was the king. I'm in charge here now, he said, and you can't do anything. He pecked the dog and flopped at the cat. The sheep all ran to hide. The rooster bullied everyone, and he puffed up with pride. The rooster didn't like the pigs happily grunting in their sty. Stop that awful din, he crowed as he went struggling by. He didn't like the friendly cows gossiping and chewing. Be quiet, he squawked and flicked his tail. Stop that dreadful mooing. Shh, he said to the ba-ba sheep and the horse was told not to neigh. Silence, he said to the unhappy hens. No more clucking from you today. He's rude, barked the dog. He's noisy, hissed the cat. But the rooster kept on crowing, and that was that. There wasn't a grunt, muba, or neigh, or cluck, or even a bark. The animals never stirred or made a noise from daybreak until dark. That's better, crowed the rooster. I'm glad that you all see. The only sound on this farmyard should be the sound of me. The hen stopped laying. The cows gave no meat. Milk. The sheep's wool was flop, and the dog did not wag his tail any more, and the horse had lost his clop. The pigs just wallowed. The cat curled up. Everyone was terribly stressed since that pushy rooster had arrived, and the animals were simply depressed. Then one night when the moon was full, the dogs cried, that's enough. We've got to get rid of that bad rooster. It's time that we got tough. Don't worry, said the horse. We won't give up. Our farm will be defended. Listen to me. I've got a plan. It's time King Rooster's reign was ended. <clears throat> Next day at dawn, the rooster crowed as he went strutting by. He passed the pigs who all went meow in their muddy sty. The rooster stopped, waggled his waddle. Something wasn't right. How could pigs turn into cats mysteriously overnight? I need to clear my head, he said, and went cock-a-doodle-doo. And the hens and chicks opened their beaks, lined up, and all went moo. The cows went ba, the sheeps cluck clucked as they rooted in their hay. Woof went the cat, oink oink went the horse, and the farm dog gave a neigh. The animals smiled as if nothing was wrong. What's the matter, rooster, they said. Maybe you need a vacation. All that crowing's gone to your head. Yes, said the rooster. I think you're right. I must be losing my touch. I'm hearing voices that aren't really there. Maybe things are getting too much. You've worked hard. You've been working too hard. You need a rest. Take a vacation. It will be for the best.
So the rooster left the little farmyard. Goodbye, said the animals. It wasn't hard. He never came back to crow, cock-a-doodle-doo. And if anyone asks, they'll say, cock-a-doodle who?